Welcome to the City Council meeting for January 25th. Please join me in saluting the flag. I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, nation under God, God, indivisible, with liberty and justice, and justice for all. Uh, before we start, I'd like to ask everybody to join me in a moment of silence. Uh, it's actually been a bad 12-month stretch for former members of this uh, august body, but uh, former Ward 7 City Councilor Robert Coffin passed away. The wake was tonight. I'd like to have a moment of silence in his memory. Thank you. May you rest in peace. And before we get to our first item of business, I'd like to welcome out in our audience tonight Troop 17 of Brockton, Boy Scouts, uh, who meet at the Prince of Peace Church on North Main Street, led by their, uh, their scout leaders, Leanne Heyer and Gary Miskinis. Uh, Gary, a classmate of Tom Monahan's of mine at St. Edward's, so, so it, but uh, I want to hear uh, counselors uh, working on their communications badges. So I'd like everybody on their good behavior tonight, <laughs> counselors. Thank you. Thank you for coming. You. Item number one. <clears throat> the appointment of ADSP Air of Oakdale Street, Brockton, as a member of the cemetery's boards of trustees for a five-year term ending January 2021. Refer to finance. Appointment Stephen Piener. Brockton is a member of the Brockton Park Commission for a five-year term ending in January 2021. Refer to finance. Appointment of Greg Pina Brockton is a member of the Planning Board for a five-year term ending January 2021. Refer to finance. Appointment of James Cobb Brockton is a member of the Conservation Commission for a three-year term ending January 2019. Refer to finance. Appointment of Samuel Ward Brockton is a member of the Conservation Commission for a three-year term ending January 2019. Refer to finance. Appointment of Ray Henningson. Brockton is a member of the Conservation Commission for a three-year term ending January 2019. Refer to finance. Tony Branch, Brockton is a member of the Diversity Commission, three-year term ending January 2019. Refer to finance. Blaise Massel, Brockton is a member of the Diversity Commission for a three-year term ending 2019. Refer to finance. And Leno Silva, Brockton is a member of the Brockton Diversity Commission for three-year term ending 2019. Refer to finance. Appointment Janet Trask Brockton is a member of the Brockton Diversity Commission, three-year term ending January 2019. Refer to finance. Appointment <coughs> Maria Docanto Brockton is a member of the Brockton Diversity Commission for three-year term ending 2019. Refer to finance. Report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of January 19, 2016. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the mayor submitting a letter of resignation from Chris Conley from the Brockton Parks and Recreation Board. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor submitting a letter of resignation from Gwendolyn Knowles from the Brockton Community Access Cable Board. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor submitting a, le a letter of resignation from Ross Messina, Jr. from the Brockton Planning Board. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor submitting a letter of a pending resignation of Craig O. Pina from the Brockton Conservation Commission in anticipation of an appointment to the Brockton Planning Board. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Emergency Management Director requesting City Council adoption of the FEMA Mitigation Plan Adoption Resolution. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor submitting a letter of resignation from Elliot Ed Miller to the Brockton Public Library Board. Accepted and placed on file. We have an appropriation of $18,000 from the Mass Recycling Challenge Grant Program to reference the Department of Recycling Container Grant Program in Council January 11, 2016. Reading for the Committee on Finance, that report is favored. Question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Yes. 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 The order is adopted. Ordered that the City Council authorize the acceptance of a grant in the amount of $1,500 from Republic Services to supplement the Mass Recycling Challenge Grant Program for the purpose of purchasing of 15 area trash containers. In Council, January 11, 2016, refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? <clears throat> yes. Barnes. Yes. 
Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneering. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stavinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The order is adopted. Transfer of $200,000 from Police Department Personal Services other than overtime to Police Department Overtime to cover overtime expenditures as a result of vacancies, employees on family medical leave, and new contractual language regarding use of personal days. And Council January 11, 2016. Before the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Overgaard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Valley. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stavinsky. Yes. Yes. The order is adopted. An appropriation of $167,365.42 from Mass Executive Office of Public Safety and Security State 911 Department Trading Grant and EMD Regulatory Compliance Grant, the City of Brockton Police Department, State 911 Training Grant, and EMD Regulatory Compliance Grant Fund to reimburse overtime for ETD police officers, fire department, EMD personnel to attend the mandatory 16-hour of E91 certification training as well as the cost to pay certified training vendors approved by the State 911 departments. There is no match required. In Council January 11, 2016, for the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. Question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Howell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stavinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The order is adopted. The order that the City Council hereby declares 12 parcels on Sprague Street avail available for disposition and sale to the most advantageous for us <coughs> proposer after soliciting requests for proposals for the purchase of such property and the development of a sport complex. Refer to the Committee on Real Estate. That the City Council hereby declare the Howard School at 849 North Main Street available for disposition and sale to the most advantageous proposer after soliciting requests for proposals for the purchase of such property. Refer to the Committee on Real Estate. Order that the City Council hereby declare four parcels at 39 Hervey Street available for disposition and sale for the most advantageous proposer after soliciting requests for proposals. Refer to the Committee on Real Estate. Order that the City Council hereby adopts the Old Colony Regional Natural Hazard Mitigation Plan as this jurisdiction's hazard mitigation plan and resolves to execute the action in the plan. Refer to Finance. Order that the City Council reaffirms its authorization to amend to execute a development agreement between the City of Brockton and I on the Ball LLC, a Delaware Limited Liability Company. Councilor Ianieri. Mr. President, thank you, and members of the uh, City Council. I'm going to make a motion that we suspend the, the rules this evening and act on this particular item. Um, if I could have a second with that. Second. Right. Motion made and seconded to act on this item tonight. <coughs> Excuse me, under suspension of the rules. All those in favor? Opposed? So be it. Uh, Mr. Councilor, President, if you could give a brief explanation. If, if I might, please. Just on, uh, just on this, uh, based upon the amendment, uh, Councilors, uh, you may re recall that back in December at our finance meeting, I believe it was December 21st, when we discussed this particular item. Uh, again, it's in regards to the advertising uh, board that's being located on Mill Street. When we were um, having the discussion, and our attorney uh, was here uh, from the city solicitor's office and, and discussing uh, the matter, uh, we also had in front of us two agreements where one of which is the one that went forth based upon a favorable recommendation from the City Council. And when we were discussing that particular agreement, we also talked about the schedule that was attached, which indicates how much money would be, be coming back into the city um, each and every year for a, a certain amount of years. The first agreement only indicated $20,000 per year. In my, um, I guess, my dismay of being, uh, uh, being attentive, it should have went... Uh, as favorable to the full city council, amended to have the schedule attached to that particular agreement, and it did not. The mayor needs to uh, sign the agreement, and that um, schedule needs to be attached. So it's a little bit of housekeeping uh, situation, but it's based on my error as uh, chairman that evening, and that's why I'm asking for that, uh, the support to do that this evening. Thank you. So we'll let that go. We'll let that go. Uh, order is uh, up for adoption by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Uh, does anybody have any questions before we move forward? Everybody all right? This is just house cleaning, housekeeping. Uh, clerk will please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Farwell. Yes. 
Malley. Yes. 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 The order is adopted. Any other items to come before us? Moments personal privilege. We will have a finance committee meeting February 1st. Uh, it'll be fairly brief, and then remember the February 2nd is an election day with a special election. We're adjourned.